It smells like too many gooses have been in that one. <laughs> it doesn't smell, <laughs> it smell like, like soap <laughs> today at all. Why am I so smelling? <laughs> <laughs> Holy day, I break these chains. I'm bound for the life of the simple things. Cruising along Wyoming 212 now. It's pretty plain here in Wyoming. It's always kind of boring. There's uh, even even the radio stations don't get any any reception around here to speak of. Just some fuzz. I wouldn't mind getting into some new terrain for sure. I know some of the neatest part of Wyoming is actually closer to I-90 where you have all of the different colored buttes and, and rock formations. It's so beautiful through Montana here. I just had to film it a little bit, you know. Even though there's not nearly as many trees as you see a lot of places, there's just something about the mountains here in Montana. Now I'm in Idaho. Well, I'm in the little farm town that I grew up in. I'll probably just show you guys around and tell you some stories from when I was here. Uh, I'm going to go and basically hang out with my high school buddy here. Good morning guys, over here at Soap Lake, Washington. I'd taken Kevin here to go check it out one time when Kevin and I were traveling through Washington and I was showing him around. And I always get a kick at seeing new people's like reaction to this lake. So I'm here with Renee and we're gonna take her on down there and see what she thinks of the water. <laughs> <laughs> you always get camera shy, don't you? Do I have my teeth? Don't let me have anything. <laughs> okay. Be a puddle. I'm gonna put the giggles in. Decades, people have been coming to this lake. Well, to this town to basically cover themselves in the mud from this lake. It's got a lot of healing properties. <laughs> All right, Renee, you want to go and tell me how the water smells? Yeah, I'll tell you how it smells. And tell me what you think about how it feels on your hand. Okay. It smells like too many gooses have been in that one. <laughs> it doesn't smell, <laughs> it doesn't smell like, like soap <laughs> today at all. Why am I so smelling? <laughs> I'm trying to smell this. Now rub your fingers together. Yeah, it's silky, but it doesn't yeah, smell like it soap. It doesn't smell like soap today. I didn't think it did either. Maybe it has to do with all this goose poop and the rainstorms. <laughs> so Renee, how does the goose poop smell? <laughs> it smells wonderful. I don't know what to say to that. It smells like goose poop, I guess. I don't even know what that's, it's weird. I don't want to do that again. It did smell weird. <laughs> Maybe we'll come back later and, yeah, when yeah. it's not goose poopy. Yeah. Good morning. Hey there, I hadn't shown you our campsite yet. Uh, we're over here at Alkali Lake, which is a free camping spot. Well, almost free. You have to have a discovery pass, which is like annually 30 for 35 bucks. So it's almost free. These campgrounds used to be 100% free until they started doing that discovery pass thing. And I think it was to keep them from closing some campgrounds because Washington started doing that. Here's what the area looks like a little bit. I love the rock formations here in the background. I think they're just great. And then we're right at the edge of a lake over here. And then all of this was carved out by glaciers. So the largest floods that ever were known to man came through this area. This area starts getting prettier and prettier. The further north you head up, Guys, I got the Rock Pals 60 watt foldable solar panel out. This thing's got a really build, 
good build quality. It's got the real connectors so you don't have a problem with stuff melting down like I did with the uh, Kodiak that I showed you. Now we got both phones charging off of this power bank and I got this guy charging the power bank and let me get out of the sunlight here. We're getting 32 watts right now into the power bank 20 it's ranging between 20 and 30 watts and we're only pulling like 10 watts out of the uh power bank to charge those two phones we're being up here in washington we don't get really great solar so getting half the rated wattage on that panel is not too bad and it's poke the sun's poking in and out of the clouds on me too so I'm happy with that. Getting a charge on our stuff, getting our phones charged up. Good stuff. The other thing is, is they're doing a rapid charge. Those phones are too. So that's, that's even better that it's able to keep up with the rapid charge. We're just about to go into the Sun Lakes State Park. I just got done taking Renee over to go and see Dry Falls real quick. I thought she'd enjoy that because the history behind the uh, geology there. I wanted to take her over here for us to go ahead and do some cliff diving, but that's not going to work out. This is a cold, rainy day. It's shocking to me that this area has had so much rain the last couple of days. I mean, you know, I was worried that the tent was going to go floating away a couple of times. I'll show you around Deep Lake when we get over there. We're gonna also see about taking a shower here. Since we have the Discovery Pass, I'm thinking that we should be able to use the facilities as day use. Let's go see what's going on here in the green space. I know you guys like that. <laughs> All right, guys. We're here inside the uh, campground at Sun Lakes right now. This is what it looks like. It's a pretty nice campground, really. They even got some cabins over here in a pool and stuff. Uh, a couple of dock spots if you want to go out on it. It's really pretty area. I think the lake that it actually sits up against is Blue Lake, if I remember right, of the Sun Lakes, is the one that the campground actually sits on. Now, if you have a Discovery Pass, which is what you need for all the Washington dispersed camping and stuff here, you can also come in and use the facilities as day use. So that's what we're in here doing. We're going to be taking some showers here at the uh, facility before uh, we head back to our camp for the night and everything. I think we're gonna also go and try to find somewhere to go do laundry when we're done here. Hey there guys, you wanna go walk around? Yeah, let's go walk around a little bit. When you're out here on the road, living the van life, you know, you're gonna be finding yourself in laundry mats to keep yourself clean, keep your stuff clean, right? And uh, this is actually Renee's very first time ever in a laundromat. She told me that basically she had no interest forever, never gone on purpose, right? Why would I? <laughs> <laughs> I always had my own. So what do you think? Is it as bad as you thought it was going to be? No, I, I didn't think it was going to be bad. I didn't think it was gonna be fun, but it kind of is fun for my first time. <laughs> I sold my washer and dryer to my neighbor, so gotta come here now. It wouldn't fit in the van. No, we didn't want to take it down those steps. Or you didn't want to, because I wasn't doing it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we finally got an opportunity to have a campfire since it's been raining with thunderstorms every night for like two or three nights. That tent is a Walmart brand tent with the Walmart brand canopy. The canopy hasn't done so well. I'll show you that a little bit later, maybe even do a full review, but that tent really has held up. Uh, I have to say, I mean, easily 40 mile an hour gusts that we've had through here. I'm so stoked to have a fire tonight though. How about you, Boo? You know, life is something. Life is funny. <laughs> life is funny sometimes, James. 
You win some, you lose some. Deep Sometimes thoughts. when it rains, it pours. Love can withstand all and crash and burn. <laughs> <laughs> crash and burn? Look, how, how about we skip both? Hold on. Hold on, let me think of some more. Unfortunate things comes in three. <laughs> <laughs> if it's yellow, let it mellow. If it's brown. <laughs> <laughs> One more. Don't eat that yellow snow. <laughs> That's a really important one. This is deep thought. <laughs> kind of like the old deep thoughts by Jack Handy from uh, Saturday, Saturday Night Live. Night Live yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we are gonna enjoy this fire, and we wish you, we could save the heat <laughs> for you. <laughs> Honestly, we really haven't had that much to drink. <laughs> And we wish you could enjoy some of the heat from this fire. Get out there, connect with people, live your big story, and make sure you do something every single day to reduce world suck. Peace, guys.